Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here where we have a big update with Jenna Ellis today that you don't want to miss. And we are also talking about Donald J. Trump because this directly involves Trump's legal case. So this is actually the whole reason I started my channel in the first place was to talk about Trump's legal cases. So um, yeah, this is I, like this is why I started my channel. So please thumbs it up. Welcome back to my channel. I am currently sick, so I'm going to be a little bit quieter today, but I'm still here, not taking no days off, and yeah, I got to be here for you guys. This is what I'm, I'm a man, okay? I don't sleep all day, even when I'm sick. I still got to show up. Things are still going on, and very important things are going on. We're also talking about Joe Biden and a few things from the White House, which are breaking news today, so here we go. This comes from the book of Matthew. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Matthew 6, 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Okay, guys, I have an email list down below. You can join for free. Enter your email below if you haven't already. It's on my website, godcomesfirst.com link will be below and it's first with the one so make sure you t use it one um, and we soon will be selling Christian clothing biblical clothing so keep an eye out for that October 1st but you can join your email below now Trump lawyer and co-defendant Jenna Ellis says she won't support Donald J Trump anymore because of his quote malignant narcissistic tendencies I thought that this was a joke, a satirical article, because I've always liked Jenna Ellis. She is a Christian. She even says on her Twitter bio, Jenna Ellis says, oh, she has a Bible verse, I believe, on her Twitter. It says, a servant of Jesus Christ. Former Trump lawyer Jenna Ellis is a co-defendant in Georgia case she says she'll no longer support the former president due to his narcissistic tendencies ellis says she quote simply can't support him for elected office again so you're gonna vote for joe biden or what jenna ellis one of donald trump's former lawyers who is a co-defendant in georgia has turned on the former president jenna i thought you were one of the good ones ellis says she wouldn't support his third bid for the presidency because of his narcissistic tendencies I simply can't support him for elected office again, Ellis said, on her American Family Radio Show, a right-wing Christian network. Why I have chosen to distance is because of that frankly malignant narcissistic tendency to simply say that he's never done anything wrong. Do you think she's saying this in order to help defend her case? Her case? Her court case? Maybe she's like, well, judge, I don't even, I'm not even voting for Trump. I don't even like him. See, I said that on my show, my public show, and that's basically called selling out. Or, on the other hand, does she actually believe these words? And I thought maybe she said this because Trump is not 100% pro-life, and a lot of Christian Catholic churches say that you cannot vote for somebody in office if they're not 100% pro-life. They literally, my church growing up said that. They said, you, you, you can only vote, like they're like, we teach in the Catholic church that you can only vote for somebody if they're truly pro-life. And keep in mind, Donald Trump, although he is technically pro-life, he still runs on policies that are uh, in the, pretty much in the middle, if that makes sense. He's not trying to ban, federally ban abortions. He's not... That's not part of his strategy at all. Um, and a lot of Christians, that is one of the main reasons why a lot of Christians don't vote for Trump. So if you're a Christian and you're truly, truly, truly pro-life, technically speaking, you might say, well, I can't vote for Trump then. Uh, Ella said this. I, I said, oh yeah, uh, Trump, Trump already turned on Ellis earlier this year when she expressed support for his rival, uh, for his 2024 arrival. I don't know what that's about. Trump and his 18 of his associates, including Ellis, were charged in Georgia relating to their uh, efforts 
Prosecutors say that the group attempted to organize a scheme. Ellis faces charges of racketeering and soliciting a public official to violate their oath. She turned herself in last month and was released on $100,000 bond. Yeah, so exactly. So she's in heat right now. She's in trouble. Maybe she thinks that this is going to help her case. Now, breaking news as of today from the White House. Five Americans detained in Iran walk free and released in deal for frozen Iranian assets. Listen to this. This comes out of Doha, Qatar. Five Americans detained for years in Iran walked off a plane and into Freedom Monday arm in arm as part of a politically risky deal that saw President Joe Biden agree to the release of nearly $6 billion in frozen Iranian assets owed by a third country, South Korea. Interesting how this money just tied up. Just tied up. Where is it? It's tied up. It's a frozen Iranian assets owed by a third country, South Korea. Like, what the freaking garbage is this all about? The successful negotiations for the Americans' freedom. Yeah, so successful. A billion dollars per person. What kind of precedent do you think that sends to Iran, Afghanistan, Iraq? All these other countries, oh, we'll just take some American prisoners and we'll get a billion bucks per person. Good job, Joe. <laughs> Great negotiator, dude. Can you imagine if Trump, Trump was negotiating this? I bet it'd look a whole heck of a lot different. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you who it. You guys ever watch King of the Hill? I love King of the Hill. They just sip their beers and they, go, they stand outside the, the fence. I grew up watching King of the Hill, so if that tells you anything about me, yeah, they sip their coffee, or their beer, sorry. I don't drink beer, but I do, do, do drink coffee. They go, yep, mm-hmm, yep, yep, Bill Boomhauer. Who's the other guy? Hill, uh, Hank Hill. Bow Bay Hill. Um, yeah, and then he goes, I'll tell you what. If you, guys, if, I, if you guys are not fans of King of the Hill, I'm sorry, but there's one scene where Bobby Hill goes, Let go of my purse! I don't know you! I love that show. It's so bad, though. It's so bad. I know, I grew up watching The Simpsons and King of the Hill, and I turned out on Dart. Actually, maybe I did turn out okay. I turned out a little wacky, but it's all right. Joe Biden said today, Today, five innocent Americans who are in prison in Iran are finally coming home. Hey, Jill, are we giving them ice cream too? I wouldn't be surprised if Joe Biden gave the Iranians ice cream as well, along with the $6 billion. Biden sent a statement released as a plane carrying the group up from Tehran landed in Doha, Qatar. A plane carrying the Americans home to the U.S. was due to land Monday night. Iran's hardline president, Ibrahim Raisi, on hand for the UN General Assembly in New York, suggested Monday's exchange could be a step in the right direction of a humanitarian action between us and America. Oh, really? Yeah, I hope so. I hope it does. But um, one thing that I don't trust is the Iranian president. <laughs> Are we just supposed to take his word after he keeps... Americans in captivity for years. Oh, yeah, sounds like a great guy. Let's trust him It can definitely help in building trust rice. He told journalists Dude, you can't trust this guy. He's talking about trust. He's also imprisoning Americans for years I don't trust this guy at all not one bit and he just negotiated the deal of a lifetime six billion bucks for six Americans He's like yeah light work for us. However, ten, you know how far What's the Iranian uh, minimum wage, by the way? M minimum wage in Iran is 26 million Iranian dollars per month. Let's check how much that is in USD. Oh my gosh, one is like, dude, their currency is so low. Holy crap. One. Iranian dollar is equivalent to 0. 0.000024. So let's take that and then times that by uh, 26 million times 26. Boom, 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 boom. Their, their minimum wage is 624 US dollars per month, guys. And let's do that times 12 real quick. 
Their minimum wage is 7,000 US dollars per year. And we just gave them $6 billion. So a US dollar goes way farther in Iran does it, than it does here in America. $7,000 per year is their minimum wage. So let's just say, take all that, and I'm gonna figure out the hourly minimum wage. I don't know why they didn't do that, but um, let's just do that time divided by 12, 624 per month. We already know that. Now, um, divide that by four. You're looking at 150. I should honestly do it divided by 52. Um, let's see, divided by 52, 144. Divide by 40. Yeah, they, their minimum wage is three, $3.60 per hour, just to give you guys some perspective. About four to five times less here in America. So it's honestly like six billion US dollars to them is more like 24 to, to 20, uh, 24 to 30 billion dollars. It's a lot of money. Keep that in mind, my friends. So for them, that's like, they're like, I just got 30 billion dollars. It's probably gonna fund their government for the next several years. That's crazy. And I'm sure that they're not wasting money like we do here in America. But I don't know, I, what, what kind of government does Iran have? They have a theocracy, Islamic Republic. I don't know. Iran also known as Persia and officially as the Islamic Republic of Iran. <clears throat> I would not want to live there, but I, I'm sure it's very, very hot there. So anyways, that's the major update with Jenna Ellis. And again, I had to give you guys the breaking news from the White House today. So a uh, little bit off topic, but still very important news in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts with Jenna Ellis. Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump came out and said that I'm not worried about um, getting sent to prison. I don't know if you guys watched his video on Meet the Press, but he says uh, he basically had an interview with Welker called Meet the Press, and he or she asked him, what do you think about potentially getting in prison? He goes, I don't even think about it. I'm a, I built a little differently, I guess. Trump says, I'm built different uh, because I have had people come up to me and say, how do you do it, sir? How do you do it? I don't even think about it. But he also came back to the question on his own accord later in the interview, suggesting it stuck with him. When you say, do I lose sleep? I sleep, he said. I sleep because I truly feel the end we're going to win. Trump's sleeping great. Can, can you guys believe that? Trump says, with everything going on, he's like, I sleep great at night. <laughs> that just upsets so many Democrats who are just hoping and praying that Trump's like, has anxiety and stress and he doesn't sleep. Trump's like, I sleep great. I'm not worried. I'm built different, I guess. <laughs> Gotta love Trump. All right, guys, uh, gonna end the video. Again, join my email list, godcomesfirst.com. I'm actually really excited that I was able to get that uh, address, godcomesfirst.com. How cool is that? And I will, we will be selling Christian clothing. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, and we're also gonna be having these coffee coasters Jesus is king on them. Uh, T-shirts, tote bags, mugs, amen mugs. Um, we're gonna put these on hoodies and stuff. I, this was the one um, that I'm excited about, God Comes First. So keep an eye out for that. I'm gonna order some so I can wear them on my show so you guys can actually see what they look like. But other, otherwise, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Got one more Bible verse to end the video and then I'll let you guys get on with your day. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Amen. That's Proverbs 3, 5, 2, 6. Thanks for watching guys and we'll talk soon.